Are you watching? Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was Bitcoin. Then the big crypto bang happened. And now we have thousands of cryptocurrencies. But I'm gonna go into detail and talk about one of the OG cryptocurrencies, and that is Bitcoin Cash. Welcome everybody, it is me, your host, John Doe. Feel free to follow me as well on all socials, Twitter, Instagram, as well as show some love to the channel by hitting that thumbs up button, that like button right now. Now, if you don't know too much about the history of Bitcoin Cash, well, it's time to sit back and get comfortable because now it is story time. Bitcoin Cash is a proof of work cryptocurrency, which uses the same algorithm as Bitcoin. The idea behind Bitcoin Cash was to create a hard fork of Bitcoin, attempting to solve some of the issues that early adopters believed Bitcoin would experience in the long term. For example, scalability, transaction times, and mining. Now, I mentioned hard fork just now, and what is a hard fork of a cryptocurrency? So most cryptocurrencies have fundamental rules or basic protocols that users will have to experience. There's always pros and cons, whether that's high transaction fees, low transactions per second, or security risk. And when you have a hard fork of a cryptocurrency, you're basically taking the original idea of a project or crypto and giving it your own software update. And at one point, the two projects will go in separate directions. So in our case, we have Bitcoin, which is a prior network. And then we have Bitcoin Cash, which is a fork and attempts to become the new updated Bitcoin and craft its own future. So Bitcoin Cash originated in 2017 as a solution to solve Bitcoin's transaction speed issues. Roger Ver and also the developers and various miners that were heavily involved in the original Bitcoin movement had the opinion that if Bitcoin was meant to be utilized as a form of exchange and digital transactions, then why the hell are the transactions per second? They're so slow, they can take minutes and sometimes even hours. So despite there being some issues about Bitcoin Cash's release, the project opened on crypto exchanges at around $900. And one of the main reasons that Bitcoin Cash had such a smooth transition away from Bitcoin was that it received vital support from the world's biggest crypto mining company, Bitmain. This was crucial as it was contributed towards supply for exchanges when the project initially launched. During the crypto boom of 2017, Bitcoin Cash boomed all the way to an all-time high of about $4,000 in December. Since then, Bitcoin Cash has come right back down to earth. And despite Bitcoin Cash making many promises that it would improve its functionality compared to Bitcoin, the project has yet to continue on those promises. Bitcoin's transaction fees have also dropped significantly since Bitcoin Cash's developers tried to resolve this issue, making it a viable competitor for daily use and daily crypto transactions. Now you might be thinking, what are the issues with Bitcoin Cash? So Bitcoin Cash has a much larger block size. This means that the average computing power needed to contribute to the mining process for Bitcoin Cash is actually higher than Bitcoins. This is a negative, as this opens the gates for centralization of Bitcoin Cash's miners, and it does ruin the low-level miners' chance of mining Bitcoin Cash and contributing to the blockchain. Since Bitcoin Cash's creation, there has been thousands of cryptocurrencies created that attempt to become a medium for daily digital transactions. These projects have been much more forward thinking by staking out partnerships with governments and organizations all over the world. How many copycats will there be? 
Bitcoin Cash was not the first project that tried to upgrade the Bitcoin network. Early on, when Bitcoin first started to pick up in 2016, 2017, the developers were trying to overcome the scalability issues. A similar coin named Bitcoin Unlimited, which was hacked actually and struggled to gain traction, but it did fail pretty quickly. And the funny thing is, Bitcoin Cash had a few forks of its own actually, mainly due to the same reasons that it forked from Bitcoin itself. In November 2018, Bitcoin Cash split into Bitcoin Cash ABC and Bitcoin Cash Satoshi's Vision. Both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash have a max supply of 21 million coins. Approximately right now, both coins actually have 90% or so of coins already minted and are circulating. Bitcoin Cash was created by Bitcoin developers and miners who were worried about Bitcoin's effective scalability. A Bitcoin block is limited to one megabytes, whereas Bitcoin Cash blocks are 32 megabytes. Bitcoin Cash allows for peer-to-peer -peer payments between individuals like Cash, but pretty much in a digital form. They effectively plan to use Bitcoin's fundamentals, but utilize the larger block size and low fees to make Bitcoin Cash useful for daily and very low transaction fees, unlike the sister Ethereum. And another perk for Bitcoin Cash is microtransactions, pretty much like tipping creators and rewarding app users. Now, in terms of development on Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash developers can use smart contract languages like Cash Script to enable more complex functions than the basic transactions that are possible on Bitcoin. This creates the possibility of pretty much DeFi or decentralized finance to happen on the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. Now, as of right now where we stand, the possibilities are pretty much still unlimited for Bitcoin Cash. That all depends on the development that comes in the future, but it seems Bitcoin Cash is still sticking to that initial goal, replace Bitcoin to be used as daily transactions. So I guess as crypto gains more adoption, we will see where Bitcoin Cash stands. Well, that's it on my little research on Bitcoin Cash. I hope you got some good information on that. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up before you take off. Watch some more of our videos right on the channel. Thank you for watching. My name is John here with Currency.com.